All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. The name of this video is going to be Slavery in New Jerusalem, as in New Jerusalem, which people call the Kingdom of Heaven, um, which will be built here on the earth when who the world calls Christ returns, which his real name is Yahweh Shai. Um, but the point of the matter is that we will be proven in the scriptures that, you know, contrary to popular belief, such as, say, for example, the Christian church, you know, they teach that, you know, in, in heaven or the kingdom, you know, everybody will be at peace. You know, there won't be any, you know, war, there won't be any, you know, hate or any of that. However, I'm going to prove in the Bible that clearly when Christ returns to earth, that there will be um, a, a time period where the heathen, specifically the Edomites, which are so-called white people, but all other nations outside of the nation of Israel will be put into slavery, which today the children of Israel, or the 12 tribes of Israel, are... Um, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and also confusion of face Israelites, such as, say for example, a few of the people that you see on the screen here, you will have people who look like um, these individuals here that actually go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, even though they look like heathens, which that's uh, another video in itself to explain that. But just because somebody has this skin color that you see here, that does not mean he or she is an Edomite or a heathen. They could actually be an Israelite. However, the vast majority of people who have this skin color are heathens, a vast majority. So we are going to read the judgment that is, um, you know, restored for these, um, you know, groups of people in the time to come in New Jerusalem. This is um this is the book of um Psalms chapter two and uh verse seven says I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my sons, this day I have begotten thee, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like the potter's vessel. Right, the point of the matter is that, you know, as it says, ask of me and I'll give you the heathen for your inheritance. Which one is that? What is that talking about? We know that Israel is under the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, until Christ returns and sets up the kingdom. So obviously by default, that clearly is talking about the kingdom. Okay. Um, which I'll get more on that later. Um, let's go to the book of Psalms. Chapter, bear with me a second. Okay, bear with me just a second here while I find a verse I don't have it highlighted. Sorry if you hear that noise in the background, Zalakia. That's just a coffee pot. I'll try to speak over there. Okay, I found it. It's in the, uh, the wrong chapter. Anyway, um, and as I said, excuse that noise in the background. I'll speak over it. Uh, Psalms chapter 137. And um, start at verse 1. It says, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the widows. In the midst thereof, for they, there they that carried us away captives required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, "Sing us one of these songs of Zion. How shall we sing 
the Lord's song in a strange land. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, remember, O Lord Yahweh, the children of Edom. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, how happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Right, so that is um one of the judgments that is preserved for the heathen nations. And that, you know, and as I said, I always like to bring that verse up to a Christian. Right? I mean, clearly, the God of the Bible is with killing children. I mean, it clearly says that right there in the verse. That's in plain English. I mean, a two-year-old can clearly understand what that verse means. So, how does pork chop eating pastor get out of that one? The answer is you can't because, you know, excuse my language, but you Christian pastors are full of shit, man. Okay, you guys are completely full of shit. And the scriptures say in the book of Corinthians, for though I am rude in speech, I am not in knowledge. Okay, because that's another topic um, about, you know, so-called, uh, you know, uh, quote-unquote, you know, foul language, which is really no such thing. Um, but anyway, we'll move on to get more scriptures, because here, here at, you know, ETT and Time Teachers, we're nothing but bringing out the Holy Scriptures for what they say. All right, we don't have any emotions involved. We bring out the entire truth of what the scriptures say. Bear with me a second. Okay. This is another good one. Okay, this is the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 149, and verse 4. It says, For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon the judgment written, this honor have all his saints, praise ye Yahweh. The point of the matter is that um you know these uh these other nations are clearly gonna be taken into captivity. And we got way more evidence, which I'm only bringing out a handful of scriptures here. You know, we've done you know more in depth, you know, videos, you know, going into the you know this topic in the past. Anyway Let's see. Okay, Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy upon Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and a stranger shall be joined unto them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to the place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take captives, they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. It shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, from thy fear, and from the hard barnage wherein thou was made to serve. Right, but the point of the matter is that the Israelites are going to bring this, uh, this evil, and this revenge upon the heathen in the kingdom. And the icing on the top of the cake for this video it's going to be right here in the book of Revelation. And I always have to ask the Christian pastor this question. This is in the last book of the Bible. Okay. So this did not happen in the past. Okay. This did not happen a few thousand years ago. This is in the last book of the Bible. I have to have an answer for what this is talking about for anybody who disagrees. Because if you cannot provide an answer, it that by default proves our belief. And what we are teaching. Revelation chapter 2. And uh, 
let's see, verse 26 says, And he that overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Right, but the point of the matter is it clearly speaks about, um, you know, putting these other nations in the state of captivity in the kingdom. That clearly cannot be denied. That clearly is what the Bible is saying. Okay, that these other nations, you know, Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, and, you know, all the other nations on earth, you know, outside of the nation of Israel, are going to serve slavery in the kingdom of heaven. I mean, that clearly is what the Bible teaches. Now, as hard as that might be to, you know, accept, I mean, you can't deny the uh, the holy text that I just read. So, you know, pretty much it's going to be the lesson there. I hope that was edifying. Anybody who dares to refute this information, you the comment board's open for you down below. Um, you know, answer those questions I presented. Um, but, you know, of course, you know, Shalom, to be other brothers out there, you know, pushing this truth. If that all being said, I'll praise the El Boshim Yoshai, and I'm going to say Shalom.